Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue our BGP series and mix things up a little bit. We're going to stay in internal BGP, so iBGP peering, but we're going to add a third router to the mix. And on top of that, we're going to actually peer between non-connected routers. So we're going to peer from the loopback of router 1 to the loopback of router 3. Router 2 is not going to run BGP, it's going to run something else. I uh, think uh, we'll, we'll do EIGP, that, you know, that's a fun protocol to use. So we're going to set up EIGP with all three routers because you need to be able to ping through the whole thing. You need to have connectivity. And then we're, we're going to see how the commands are different, or if they're different. So we're going to go on router 1. Do enable show IP protocols just to make sure nothing's running. Good. So we're going to do a very simple EIGP configuration, no auto, and network of all zeros. Right. So we're going to do this in a systematic way. We're going to start EIGP on all three routers first. No auto, network, zero, 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 zero. Okay, looks good so far. G gonna go on router 3, enable, conf t, no auto, network, all zeros. Wait for EIGP adjacency to come up. Let's do a show IP in PR. Okay, so we've got our interfaces up. some reason it's not coming up on router 3. Let's see what's happening on router 2. Show IP in PR. Okay, well that would make sense. My fast Ethernet 01 on router 2 is not up and doesn't have an IP address, so we're going to fix that real quick. Conf T int fast 01 IP address 10.10.23.2. No shut. JSNC comes up, that's good. Look at router 3, we look good there. Show IP route, good. See if we could ping all the way to the loopback zero of router 1, and we have full connectivity between our network. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to router 1. Let's see, just minimize everything here. Okay, so we're on router 1. We're gonna fire up BGP. router BGP1 N neighbor and we're going to connect to loopback 0 of router 3 so it's neighbor 1.1.1.3 and still the same remote AS remote AS1 and if you remember, remember from the previous video we have to do update source update source loopback 0 alright we could verify what we did by doing show IP BGP summary. You can see it's in the active state. We actually haven't formed a adjacency yet because we have to do the same thing on router 3. So we're going to go to router 3, conf t, router, BGP1, neighbor, 1.1.1.1, remote AS1. And we have to pop in our update source. Update source loopback zero. Show IP BGP summary. With active state, let's see if we have an adjacency forming. Remember BGP is real slow. Okay, there we go. And you can see we've been up for about four seconds, no prefi prefixes received. Show IP BGP neighbor. Our neighborship is established, so that's pretty good. All right, so it looks like everything worked. So there, there you have it. It's pretty easy. It's the same thing as when we had two routers. All you need to do is router BGP one, a neighbor statement, and what you want to connect to. So in our case, it was 1.1.1.3 from router one remote ES number 
and then you have to just remember to add your update source and everything comes up so this is kind of what's interesting with BGP as I said before is that we have a BGP neighbor forming between router 1 and router 3 router 2 is sort of out of the game router 2 is running EIGRP it's not running BGP at all so pretty easy video between non-adjacent neighbors and forming BGP peering thanks for watching